planet Earth. <clears throat> Excuse the features. I'm coming directly from a show. Um, yeah, I moved the studio around. This is the new digs. This is a, a ceiling thing. <laughs> um, being in the second floor of a home, it's obviously a terraced house. The roof slopes about all that away, so really cool little environment. Um, I've had a kind of cascades into a corner of technical stuff. I actually got this all done last night. I've got it plugged in and working. Um, not completely done. I've still got to run the hoover around, plug in TV, um, and just generally set the place straight a bit. But this, for the most part, is my studio set up for the next few months. Um, longer than that, if I can help it. Um, so yeah, I've just come from a gig. Um, I haven't been to this particular venue for a gig in... God... Two years. What year? Year and a half. More than a year and a half, but two years. I mean, I've changed it quite a bit. We um, originally it was on a stage that was sort of in a corner that had a, a pillar constricting the view and all terrible sorts of gigging potential there. What a good place to gig. Um, and since then, they've gutted one half of the pub, <laughs> shoved a stage and a load of lights in. Um, and it's great. It's a fucking great gigging space. Um, I had a nice crowd of about 20 or 30 drunk people. Bigger room than we played in. Which is nice. So, you know. Um, talk about a gig that's fraught, alright. Fraught. Fraught. A gig fraught with problems. So, as viewers of my little vlog may be aware, the uh, promoter that originally stuck us this gig has had the bands drop out and a few days ago they kind of went fuck it, I don't want to organise this gig anymore, it's yours well it's actually a guy that's promoting it um, but he's a cunt quite frankly <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not normally unpleasant about people but he's a cunt <laughs> Um, because the pub didn't even know we were still going ahead with the gig as the band until we phoned them up today. <laughs> um, and our drummer this morning messaged us saying, sorry, I don't think I can do the gig tonight. And we're all kind of, I guess, going, because we've been sort of building up to this for a, for a good few weeks now. Um, so I guess the singer talked him round and our drummer you know reluctantly agrees he doses himself up on you know the strongest pain meds he can get his hands on and have a bath and gets to the gig um, wind it back a bit in my attempts to get to the gig I had no lift to get to this thing um, but it's two seconds away from a uh, train station stop it's one train station stop from my town to this. Um, so the idea was I'd get on the train, go there, I'd hop over the road and slide into the pub. Sorted. Um, it's raining, so I decided to bag all of my keys in um, in bin liners because I didn't have my gig bag with me because that was at the singers. <laughs> uh, so there I am, wearing sensible clothing, not so sensible now. Uh, Stride out in the wind and rain with a keyhole around my neck, a keyboard in my hand, coming to midnighters, get to the train, go to open the door for the train, the train goes, vroom, drives off. Right in front of me while I'm sat there going, the door won't open. It's like a dick, I have to get a taxi and go to this venue. Um, which was probably better for it because I got to drive right out to the front door. So, the drummer gets there. The drummer and the singer get there. All the amenities. You know, a PA, all the amps, all the instruments, the drum kit, and everything. I just want fucking keyboards and microphones. There we go. Sweet. Um. 
get two songs into soundcheck. The drummer stops halfway through and start like doing that and like oh we're all at this point it would be right like fuck is is he done is he just done himself <laughs> the fucking guy like a trooper at the bar says okay I'm gonna have a load of shots I'm gonna have a load of beer I'm gonna get so drunk that I can still play but I can't feel the pain <laughs> It worked. My God, it worked. But the reason we had to phone up the uh, the pub before we went there was um, we needed a support act so our drummer could get drunk and get used to the pain. Um, an old band of the singers that they just pulled together, which covers like fifties and sixties rock and roll kind of stuff. Fucking cool. Um, so they played for quite a while. We played, we um, I always say it's a low point of my career when I get changed in a pub toilet and that's the fourth time I've changed in a pub toilet. <laughs> um, put the robes on for Stonehenge, went out, threw them off, two songs in, I have to take this bastard off, sweating under the lights, good lord. But, first time I got to try these bad boys out, delicious aren't they? Uh, good gig, good gig. Didn't do a first half and a second half, it just went straight through a reduced set. And, uh, the most rock and roll thing I've ever seen was, uh, with one seat down to get everyone home. Three cars, two of them packed with gear, one of them packed with people. They've all got to meet up with the singers, because the singer and the guitar, car, the singer and the drummer live in the same, like, block of flats, um, as did sort of a couple of other people that were coming, a support act, that sort of stuff. So, uh, <laughs> singer like a trooper looked at this car that was full of drum kits, amplifiers, a PA, and a massive carpet for all to go on, and just went, I'm gonna climb in the back of that. <laughs> Climbed into this boot stuffed full of gear. This ass and the shoe sort of hanging out of the boot as we like slamming it down on him. Fucking rock and roll, I'll tell you. That man has got some balls. Balls I can only aspire to. I'm gonna go now. I'm currently uploading yesterday's video because I fucking forgot and ran out of time today. Um, gonna upload this video, wind down for a bit, have a little something to eat, and then join my lovely lady in bed. I've got to get up at 8 tomorrow, be at the house by 9, to be at work by 10. Oh, this is going to be a horrible fucking day tomorrow. Whoa. Good show tonight, really fucking good show. Loved it. I love performing. Absolutely fucking love performing. Uh, yeah, I'll hopefully speak to you tomorrow, if I'm still alive. We're gonna watch some some program about fairy tales on five tomorrow. I think it's Snow White, possibly. Uh, another film retelling of looks quite good. It's got the guy from uh, Mouse Hunt in it. Mouse Hunt? Yeah. Love that map. So I can't wait to take Monday or Tuesday off. Monday and or Tuesday off. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I just want to enjoy this space, you know. But anyway, I hope you're all having a good time. I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye!